Hello friends, welcome back to another Faith Field Friday. My name is Tara, for those of you that are new, and for those of you that are returning, thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with me. You guys, I read all of your comments and you love the idea of having a Faith Field Friday. So I am here to oblige. It is absolutely my pleasure to be sharing scriptures with you guys. Um, I truly mean it. I I truly appreciate each and every one of you for being here. If you guys want to dive into another Faith Field Friday, stay right there and just keep watching. All right, friends, so here we are. It is Friday morning and I'm just going to get started. I don't ever want to make these videos super long, but um, for those of you, if this is your first time joining, the way things work over here on Faith Field Friday, um, the scriptures that I've written in my faith planner, I'm going to go over them from Friday to Friday. So we'll read those together. And then um, today I'm actually going to be writing my Friday scripture with you guys. And I'm going to pick from those scriptures, the one that stood out to me the most, the one that spoke to me the most, and I'm also going to write that as well. I do have a specific layout that I use, um, and I'll show you guys that once I get this open. But um, that's what we're going to do today. And I'm also going to pull, you guys know I use a deck of scripture cards that I pull one every week. Um, and I'm going to pull that scripture for the following week here with you guys. So if it's something that you feel you want to um, take with you throughout the week to meditate on, that'll be great. And I will link all of the scriptures below. I know in the last video, I did not do that. I was waiting to hear you guys' feedback. Um, but by the time you're seeing this, I will have linked those scriptures in the previous video as well. So let's get started. This is my faith planner, you guys. This is my pray band that I love so, so much. <laughs> I love it, you guys. I have my pens ready here. And we are just going to get started um, with our Friday to Friday scriptures. I'm just going to read them and then we'll do a recap and figure out which scripture is going to be um, in my section over here for the scripture on my heart. I'm sorry. I pray that you guys are doing well. I thank you for being here. Um, how are you guys doing? Leave it in the comments below. Let me know um, how you're feeling. Let me know what have you done throughout the week to keep yourselves accountable um, in the word. Have you guys decided to join in the scripture writing plan? Um, I'm sorry I didn't start with that and ask you guys how you're doing, but I pray that everyone is well. And actually, before I go any further, I would like to pray us in right now. Father God, we come boldly to your throne of grace, just thanking you, O oh God, for this day. We thank you, God, for life, health, and strength. We thank you, O oh God, for every soul that's gathered here, Lord God, to read your scriptures, O oh God, to learn more about your character, O oh God, to learn more about what you say, O oh God, pertaining to wisdom, O oh God. We pray right now, Lord God, that you will continue to endow us with godly wisdom. We thank you for it now, O oh God. We thank you for all the things that you're doing oh God. We thank you for everything that you have done, oh God. We thank you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, so I will start to read these scriptures. Um, Friday was Proverbs 1 and 7, and it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Amen. And then Saturday, was Hosea 14 and 9. It says, Who is wise? Let him understand these things. Who is prudent? Let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. Amen. And I had to write the rest of that up there, you guys, because I didn't have enough room. Um, Sunday was Proverbs 3 and 13. And it says, happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. Amen. 
Monday was Proverbs 24 and 14. It says, so shall the knowledge of wisdom be to your soul. If you have found it, there is a prospect and your hope will not be cut off. Amen. Tuesday was Proverbs 4 and 11. It says, I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in the right paths. Amen. Wednesday was Proverbs 4 and 5. It says, get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Amen. And Thursday was Proverbs 13 and 20. It says, he who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will be destroyed. Amen. And I will... I wrote out the scripture, Ecclesiastes 10 and 12. These scriptures, you guys, I have written in the New King James Version. Um, so that is the version that we're going to stick to throughout um, this reading plan. And Ecclesiastes 10 and 12 says, The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool shall swallow him up. Amen. So we'll just write that here. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious but the lips of a fool shall swallow Him up. Amen. Okay. So you guys, I did pull the scripture um, that I focused on throughout the week, which was Mark 12 and 30. It says, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. Amen. So that was my scripture um, focus for the week and then this over here is where I will pick one of the scriptures from Friday to Friday to write over here um, for scripture on my mind and I'm thinking I hmm I love Proverbs 4 and 5 you guys know I did something like that um, 4 and 7 was um, wisdom is the principal thing and therefore get wisdom and in all you're getting get understanding so that is very similar um, hmm I do like Ecclesiastes 10 and 12 the words of a wise man's mouth are gracious but the lips of a fool shall swallow him up so I'm gonna use the brown pen because it kind of matches I'm actually just gonna pull that out so I can make sure I'm doing it right <laughs> writing it right here um, and what I didn't do was grab a box for my scripture so I think I have my boxes here let's see if we can find that color Guess I should have been more prepared, you guys. I apologize. But this isn't going to take long. I'm so happy you guys wanted me to um, continue with this because it's really, I probably would have anyway because it's really something that I truly enjoy doing. And if it, if only one of you commented that it was blessing you, I would have still continue you know it's not about the numbers it's just um truly about who will be blessed by this word we're gonna write ecclesiastes here i'm just gonna abbreviate it and put 10 12 and i will write out this scripture i hope you guys can see um i'll just put it right here okay the words of a wise oh wrong pen let me see my fancy first letter <laughs> you guys that tuned in last week you know i talked about the fancy first letter on my faith field friday <laughs> okay the words of 
a wise man. Wise man's mouth are gracious. But the lips of a fool shall swallow him up. I know I've read this scripture um, probably like five times since we've been here. <laughs> Um, but that's okay. I love, love, love this. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious. It is always my prayer that God seasons my speech with grace. And since we're learning about wisdom, I do pray that um, God continues to endow me with godly wisdom, that I won't be perceived as a fool, you know, I won't let foolish things come out of my mouth. Um, like it says here, but the lips of a fool shall swallow him up. I don't want that for me or you at all. So that is definitely going to be um, my prayer as we um, continue to study the book of wisdom and the, the scriptures on wisdom. Um, I pray that God continues to bless us, to cover us, to keep us, to endow us with wisdom because we know wisdom is the principal thing, right? And with all our getting, we need to get an understanding. And so um, it's just, it really is blessing me, you guys. For those of you that don't know, I follow the scripture reading and writing plan from Anika's Creative Closet. Um, I will link her information in the description below. And before we go, I want to pull our scripture focus for the following week. Um, so you guys can have the opportunity to focus on this scripture as well, if you like. Um, so let's do that. I know I probably stumbled a little bit throughout this, but I am loving you guys this layout. So I think this is what I'm going to stick with. It has worked. I'll just show you guys. It's worked from the beginning. So um, here, this is the only thing that I changed up. Um, I started putting a quote here or a scripture here, a scripture quote that I found in a few sticker books. So I left it simple, you guys, because I have to have room to write my scriptures. And then over here, it says prayers and praises. And I put good health, mental stability, employment, my home, food, healthy family, healthy friends. And I mark here where I've completed my devotional and scripture writing, a little prayer, some deco over here, and then my scripture. And so this is what I meant by the um, scripture quote. It says, his grace is enough. And then I put like a little bit of decor on this page, but it's still enough room to write. And then I did the same things over here. Things that I was praying and um, focusing on. And then just some other things that I was praying and focusing on. And then the same thing over here with the scripture quote. But I just noticed... I did not mark this off. So I did my devotional Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And so I did my scripture writing as well. So I will mark that off. I love the habit tracker over here. And so you guys will see I follow that same pattern for the next week. And I am going to decorate this um for the whole month so it doesn't hinder me coming to it and writing out my scriptures um so for february there will be a video where you guys will see me decorate for the whole month but i did only put like a few decorations so i can have room to write right but it's still pretty i love this this is butterfly blizzard from crafty planner queen i love that um and this is also crafty planner queen too um, I forgot the name of this set, but I, oh, I think it's Abstract Faith. It is. Um, but I'll link her information below as well. And there is a discount code um, you guys can use too if you're interested in that. But let's go ahead and pull our scripture quote 
our scripture quote. Let's pull our scripture focus card. I guess, what, what am I calling this? Our scripture focus card for next week. Okay. And then I will punch that and I will put it in for next week. And that will be it. So let's see. I always pull from the center, but this time I think I'm going to pull from right here. And let's see what we have. We have, then he said unto them, go your way, eat the fat and drink the sweet and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah 8 and 10. Amen. So let's punch this. I will do it just like this. Like I've been doing. Try not to get that. And I will just stick. Oh, no. This is for next week. What happened to my scripture card for this week? See? I put it right here. <laughs> okay. This is for the following week. So let's just put that here. And then we'll be prepared for next week. And I think that is it, you guys. That is it. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something. You, I love little trinkets, right? So tell me what you guys think of this. Isn't this beautiful? Do you guys see the rhinestones here? And then the side says Holy Bible. And guess what? It has the rhinestones embellished on the side, florals, and it opens, you guys. It's a little trinket box. I can write a little prayer and keep that in here and it has a magnetic closure. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. As soon as I saw this, I said, I have to have this. So it's kind of like precious to me, but I wanted to share that with you guys. I got it from Hobby Lobby. So if you guys are interested, maybe your local Hobby Lobby will have this as well. But thank you guys again for hanging out with me on this Faith Field Friday. I do pray that you are blessed. I pray that you have a great weekend, a great week ahead. And I will see you guys back here on Friday. Thank you again. Remember to keep praying, keep planning, and make it pretty. Mm -hmm.